Hey, can I, um, can I come in? Hey, I, um, <sighs> to be perfectly honest, I'm not 100% sure what I want to say, but I, I know I've got to say something. And I don't like what just happened. I don't like how I behaved. Um, I'm sorry for raising my voice and I'm sorry for snapping at you. I just, <sighs> yeah, I, I'm sorry I yelled at you. I. not much of an excuse, but I haven't slept much recently, and I'm just tired, and work's running me down, I feel like, and I, I don't know, I, I guess I didn't want to feel like I was making an excuse, I want to feel like I can, you know, contribute to this relationship in terms of finances and all that kind of stuff and making sure we can pay the rent and save up for our future together and you know work's not been easy recently and it, if anything ever goes wrong I always feel like I could have done more I should have been able to see problems coming or I don't know uh, <laughs> I guess I just, uh, I, I always feel like I could be doing better, you know, and, um, I come back home and I look at you and I just feel like I'm not, that, that out there, there are guys who are in much better financial positions than me, you know, and, um, yeah. So, you know, we're kind of struggling for rent and struggling to make ends meet. And I just always feel like I should be doing better and I should be doing more. And, and then I worry and I stress and then I don't sleep well and then I don't do as well at work and then work goes worse. And then I worry that more that I'm making mistakes and... And I guess I'm more stressed than I realize, I guess, when you're just going on to the next thing, going on to the next thing, going on to the next, and just grinding and pushing and pushing and pushing, you don't really, you lose self-awareness. And I guess I didn't realize how stressed I really was. And I definitely didn't mean to take that on you. And the argument is like, I don't, <laughs> Maybe this doesn't sound good in some ways, but I don't really care about the argument. I don't, I don't really care about what we were arguing about. Because it wasn't about the argument. It was just, I guess, an excuse for me to vent some negative emotion. But I shouldn't vent it like that. And I shouldn't, you know, it shouldn't go in your direction when it's nothing to do with you. And it's nothing that... It's in no way your fault, it's in no way something that's even your problem, really. I shouldn't snap at you. Ever. <laughs> For the most part, because you're on my side. But. Yeah, I'm just feeling run down. And. I know at least that if. Uh, that this should be a mistake that is recoverable because you know we both make mistakes we're both human as long as we can own up to them and obviously I mean there's some mistakes you can't make because they're not 
they misused the word mistake. Like, yeah, if I had cheated on you, you just kick my ass out the door, and you'd be completely right because that's. I was finding weird people call that mistakes. Like, uh, did you trip or something? Like, how did you accidentally cheat? Fall over and just happen to fall right in? Like, come on, man. It's not a mistake when you're making a conscious decision, I suppose, but. Or, well, I guess some people would say it is. I don't know. I don't think it was a mistake. Um, point is that this is a mistake. This is me not really realizing how much I guess I needed some space or time to myself or just just need to unwind I guess really and um yeah as long as we can talk stuff out and you know that I feel like I can come in here and trust you and just be honest about what's going on and not feel like I'm going to be judged or have this held against me in some way. Oh, for sure. That's a fear. I, I like not because of you, just because of past relationships having <laughs> You know you always get those memes online. Especially about straight relationships, how you know, oh, guys are always so emotionally closed off, they never open up. Yeah, there's a reason for that. <laughs> the reason that too many guys have either seen it happen to someone else or had it happen to them, where a guy opens up and their partner just uses it against them and uses it to emotionally manipulate them. And, you know, abusive relationships aren't just physical. And again, I'm not suggesting that you are abusive, far from it, but I'm just saying that it's kind of a scar that a lot of guys have, either by proxy or by their own experience. And it's very hard for us to trust that our... if we are truly vulnerable that that will be you know cherished and treated respectfully and well as opposed to manipulated and abused and just used as ammo at a later date either for breaking up or for gossiping behind our backs or for convincing someone that we're a bad person whether that's us or someone else in our partner's lives and <laughs> I've seen a lot of guys torn apart in relationships in ways that I never thought these guys would be and I guess if I wasn't a little bit aware of this that it would have happened to me a couple of times too, because in the end, some of my exes were very manipulative people in the end. And yeah. But I know that if I treat you as if you're going to be that person, and I never let you in, and I never honestly open up to you and just push you away like if I don't come to this door right now and apologize and try and explain why I snapped if I just sit in the other room and grouch and feel like the whole world's against me then I'm just going to push you away and that's the scariest thing I can think of <laughs> I can't imagine being without you, so I certainly don't want to imagine pushing you away. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> so, I, I guess I just wanted to, um, yeah, to be honest with you. And, you know, 
clearly stipulate that this is not something that is going to be a reoccurring thing. And this is just really stupid of me. I, I took frustrations that I, I wasn't even aware myself were boiling over. And I let an incredibly minute, you know, thing with us that should have been a two second kind of, what really you think, you know, why do you think this or whatever, like just some mini non-event where we disagree in a human sensible way. Well, instead I let it become the straw that breaks the camel's back. And that's not fair to you. And yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> can hopefully something we can just learn from and move on from and just I don't know if the kind of <laughs> I know a lot of guys I know a lot of guys who'd be telling me not to have this conversation right now because ultimately this is and I I guess I hope you realize this this is a lot of trust to even just to explain that this is a fear, you know? That being manipulated and emotionally abused is a fear that uh, exposing vulnerability and weakness is a fear that... The idea of giving someone else the tools to bring you down from the inside... <laughs> the, the concept that you show them everything so that if they choose to, they know exactly where to hit. It's terrifying. Um, and you know, we, we, we've said since day one that if we can talk things, tr uh, talk things through with each other and just be honest and be really try to grow to trust each other that you know, we don't have to fall into the same pitfalls that maybe other relationships do. But it's all very nice to say that at the start of a relationship. Oh yeah, that it'll be so different for us and it'll be super easy and we'll just trust each other, TM. And then you got to actually do it. And... Again, I don't know if it seems like a big thing to you, but I promise you it is to me. This kind of opening up is fighting against a lot of instinct, against a lot of past experience and wisdom gained from others. It's, it's very, very scary to really allow myself to be fully seen not the persona I would like people to see not the inner version of that persona that I like to see but what's below that even the ultimate core part which has I like to think good points and good sentiments and intentions but weaknesses and frailties as well But yeah, all this said, you know, having a pointless tantrum about nothing helps nobody. So, I'm sorry. <sighs> you mean that? <laughs> I was kind of nervous you were going to be really, really mad at me. You'd have had the right to be. I... I don't even know what to... Hmm. <sighs> well, that's a pretty good way to calm me down. <laughs> I really do appreciate it, you know? Oh, 
I... Yeah, I mean... Sure, I've been through some crappy relationships. Unfortunately, a lot of people have. And for a long, long time... I guess I kept trying to hold myself to a certain standard and just keep acting the way that I would you know, want other people to act towards me. And at some point, you just believe you're the problem, you know? Because the delusional person is the one who always thinks it's someone else's fault when time after time something doesn't work. And time after time, oh, it's definitely the other person, you know? It's a great sign of a narcissist who really is the one who's ruining everything. So that's the question I have to keep asking myself. Is this actually my fault? Am I the one who's doing something wrong? And so it's almost with each passing relationship, I would try harder and harder to always be good to the person. And trust me, when the person is quite happy to be that narcissist, if you're... Um, so many things in retrospect you can see a lot more but anyway <laughs> all that is very thankful for the past and now I finally met this amazing person and I don't want to screw it up because of being afraid due to people I was with before who didn't treat me well I know that isn't you and I know that I can come into this room and, and have this conversation with you and open up to you and that you'll appreciate it and not see it as some sort of opportunity to gain emotional leverage. Yeah, well, there's not as many yous out there as I would like there to be. Yes, I am saying you're special. Don't let it go to your head too much. <laughs> anyway. Well, with that apology out of the way, I guess I can... I don't know, go. Huh? You're feeling pretty stressed too. Yeah. This whole rent thing at the moment isn't fun. I mean, it's not even that we're earning particularly badly, it's just this is. Why is this place so expensive? Well, it's because it's easy to get to work, I guess. I mean. Yeah. Location, 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 as they say. Stupid, massively overinflated housing market. <laughs> you know, you can draw a really funny chart of how much, like how many times the average salary a house in this area used to cost. I forget how it's a flat in this area used to cost. So it maybe be like three times someone's yearly salary would be the cost of the house. And nowadays it's <laughs> exponentially more than that. You know, average salary is what, 24K? Average house price in this area is probably near enough to, what, 300, 320, something like that. So, yeah. More than 10x, lovely. Uh, this is what happens when you prop up an entire economy in a housing market. I know this isn't a very interesting conversation in some ways, but just saying it's absurd. So much of your money now goes into just maintaining and ha having a place to live. It's just so ridiculous. But hey, a lot of property speculators made lots of money because, uh, as they say in the stock market, shit floats. <laughs> uh, it just means 
you can be an idiot making bad moves and if the whole market you're involved in, aka if you're in the housing market and everything's going up, even if you're terrible at it, you'll still make money. So, yeah. And believe me, there's a lot of terrible people who've made a lot of money. Mm. Perversing natural economics. Welcome to Western capitalism in this century. Oh, I'm going to shut up about the economy now, but yeah. <laughs> hmm. We should... We should take a holiday? I mean... I would love to, but... Where do you want to go? I mean, yeah, I'm... I'm I could use a break too, and it's, it's a nice idea, but seriously, where would we go? I... Well, there are places I want to go, obviously, but... I don't know, I'm, I'm guessing you mean like a city break or like a little weekend away somewhere quiet or something like that? That would be great, but... I don't know. I mean, where would you want to go? <laughs> I mean, you can take some time to think about it, I guess. I mean, I'll let you pick. <laughs> you know, comment down below what you want to see. Comment down below where you want to go on holiday. <laughs> Seriously, though, comment. I uh, need the interactions. Huh? No, I just... Uh, don't worry about it. I'm just making a dumb joke. Anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. Holiday oh, sounds really nice. I... Huh? This weekend? Um... Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess we can. Yeah. If you have an idea in mind of where you want to go. Let you book it. Okay, cool. I mean, wh wherever you decide to go, I'll pay my half. It's, I'll I'll pay my half. I, I appreciate the, the gift to me could be the fact that you're booking it and choosing everything. I'll I'll still pay my bit. I know I said we're struggling on rent. We're not struggling that hard. I can still. Yes, I'm going to. Yes, I'm going to be stubborn about it. <laughs> Just, yeah, I'll pay half, it's fine. It's a nice gift idea, but uh, let's let's wait till we're a bit more... You know, I don't know. If we're killing it financially, we can start gifting each other holidays, but... Let's for now just half it and, and you know, um, yeah. It'll just make me feel better about things, don't... Because if I let you take me right now, I'll feel... a bit guilty, so... Final answer, yeah. <laughs> but don't let that impact whatever you decide to do. Like, don't sit there and go, oh, I want to cut down the money or whatever. You book whatever it is you want to book. We'll be fine, we're not going to be evicted or anything. Okay. <laughs> well, this conversation turned out pretty nice in the end. <laughs> Went from I'm hideously stressed to we're going on a little holiday to get away from everything for a couple of days. It'll be really good to just chill with you. And just get to spend more time with you, honestly. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll probably go lie down in the other room, to be honest. I'm pretty exhausted. <laughs> yeah, I'll try not to fall asleep before bed. But it's funny, I suddenly feel like I'm going to be able to sleep. Just, I guess, getting all this stuff off my chest has been 
therapeutic. <laughs> okay. Alright, I'll see you later.